Hello everybody, we're going to talk about world population growth. The aim of this lesson is to be able to describe the world population growth since the 1700s and to be able to give reasons why the world population growth rate is slowing down at the moment. So, let's start. Look at the satellite image taken at night. You can see that most of the continents are covered in people. There are people by the coast, in Europe, you can also see many lights on in India and China. You can very clearly see the River Nile and even North America. So in the world right now, in 2020, there are around 7.7 .7 billion people. That's quite a lot of people. How long did it take us to get here? Let's look at this graph of world population growth. Let's start from the 1700s. In the far past, the population grew very, very slowly. People had many children, there was a high birth rate, but there also was a very high death rate. So the population didn't really grow that much. In the year 1804, the world population was at exactly 1 billion. At this time, the population was still growing quite slowly. We reached 2 billion people on Earth in 1927. At this point, the population was already growing at a faster rate than it ever was before. We reached 3 billion people in 1960, 4 billion people in 1974, we reached 5 billion people in 1987, and at around this time, although the population was still growing, the growth was slowing down. We weren't growing as much as we were before. We reached 6 billion people in 1999 and 7 billion people in 2012. It is projected by the year 2025 we will reach 8 billion people living on Earth. So let's look at these dates and numbers a little bit more closely. Here we can see the different dates where each billion milestone was reached. If we see how long it took. Between 1804 and 1927, for the world to reach between 1 and 2 billion, it took 123 years just to increase by 1 billion. If we look at 1927 and 1960, between 2 and 3 billion, the world grew by 1 billion people. It only took 33 years this time. Between 1960 and 1974, when the world went from 3 billion people to 4 billion people, this time, it took even less. It took 14 years. Between 4 and 5 billion, it took 13 years. Between 5 and 6 billion, 12 years. Between 6 and 7 billion, it took 13 years. And it is projected that it will take another 13 years to reach the next billion. These years show how long it took to get from the previous billion to the next billion. So between the first and the second billion, there were over a thousand years. But between the fifth and the sixth billion people on Earth, there were only 12 years. You notice that for the first few billions, the number of years it took to reach the next billion continued to decrease. And if you notice, after the 6 billion mark was reached, the number of years it took for the population to increase by 1 billion started increasing again. Let's look at this graph to see what we're talking about. At the beginning, the number of years to reach the next billion was getting smaller and smaller. That means the population was getting bigger and bigger. At a point, in the 1970s, 
the population was still increasing. However, it was increasing at a lower rate. If you look at the chart, you can look at the growth rate. This is what we're talking about. The growth rate increased in the past. That means the population was growing very, very quickly. At a point, it started decreasing. That means that even though the population is still increasing, it is increasing at a slower pace. Why is the world growth rate slowing down? We said that the world population is still increasing, however, it's not increasing as fast as it was in the 1950s and 60s. Why is this happening? There are a few reasons. The first one is an improvement in basic education and female literacy. When children go to school, it encourages them to further their education. This means that rather than getting married at a young age and having children at a young age, teenagers are instead going to university and getting married and having children later on in the, their life. This is reducing the birth rate. Let's have a look at Kenya. In the past, Kenya passed an education reform that increased the length of primary education by just one year. Over the years, this resulted in more girls studying education at higher levels, and it also delayed marriages. This meant that instead of girls getting married when they were young, and starting to have children when they were young, they continued to study and delayed their marriage. This also meant that women had less children, and this reduced the growth rate. Another reason the growth rate is slowing down is family planning. Family planning helps people and couples to be able to be in control of the number of children they will have and when they will have their children. Family planning includes sexual education and contraception. Let's take a look at India. In 1971, India had a very high fertility rate. Women were having an average of 5.2 children each. This is quite a large number of children. Through the years, there were a number of programs which taught families, and especially women, about family planning. Eventually, 2015, the number of children per woman dropped to 2.2. In all sections of society, the rich and the poor, the literate and the non-literate, even the high class and lower class, and any different kind of religion, they were all affected by this new knowledge of family planning. So as you can see, family planning helps to lower the population. Another reason the world growth rate is slowing down is due to the one-child policy in China. In 1979, China created this one-child policy, where it encouraged people to only have one child. Parents who had more than one child during the one-child policy faced fines and other punishments for having more children. Since many people were having less children, the one-child policy reduced the growth rate. Chinese officials say that the one-child policy has prevented over 400 million births, although scientists argue that this number might be a bit smaller. The last reason that the world population has been growing at a slower rate is because of diseases such as HIV and malaria. In 2016, HIV killed around 1 million people. Tuberculosis killed around 1.3 million, hepatitis around 1.4, and malaria killed around half a million people. All these diseases and infections reduce life expectancies. This means that people live for a shorter amount of time especially in poorer countries that might have the world's highest birth rates. The final check. Are these statements true or false? 
pause the video and allow yourself two minutes to work them out. When you're done, press play and check your answers. Okay, so the world's population rose slowly until the 1800s. That is true. Next, the world population growth rate is now speeding up. That is false. At the moment, the world population growth rate has been slowing down for a number of years. Education and family planning increase the growth rate. This is also false. Education and family planning usually decrease the growth rate because they all lead to a reduction in family size and lower the fertility rate, which is the amount of children a woman will bear. The one-child policy reduced the growth rate of China's population. This is true. Okay, remember, geography is everywhere.